Four years, a $1 million project is bringing doctors into some county ambulances here on the South Plains. But the physicians are not leaving the hospital. It's a pilot program at Texas Tech Health Sciences Center called Next Gen 911. They're putting brand new video and audio equipment to provide telemedicine inside those ambulances. KCBD News Channel 11's Case Wilbanks explains. Getting from point A to point B in rural West Texas takes a while and time is of the essence in an emergency and this is a the PTZ camera. So the hospital is coming to you with NextGen 911 telemedicine. Sharon Rose is the project manager for the effort, sparked by State of Texas House Bill 479. They felt that because of the great distances to travel, maybe they need to make some funding to see if we could improve quality of care as well as patient outcomes. Muleshoe, Seminole, Andrews, Lamisa, and Snyder will have these video and audio devices in their ambulances connecting to their county hospital and university medical center. Is it allows the doctor in the emergency room to actually be able to put his eyes on that patient, to zoom in, zoom out, look at the patient, look at the injuries, look at his most current vital signs. Hopefully cutting time spent planning treatment at the hospital or deciding what hospital to go to. Simple. Jeff Burdan is the COO of SWIMED, the company behind these backpacks, a communication hub using modems and software to keep the ambulance connected in rural areas. So the idea was to get the most experienced eyes on the patient before they're moved anywhere so that you make sure you move them once and you move them to the right place. With the technology, doctors from equipped hospitals can talk to EMTs to determine the best care, and that may be at their local hospital. What we're also trying to do is keep patients in their communities where it will benefit their community as well as the patient themselves. But also having that option of if they need that higher level of care to bring them here to Lubbock. Case Wilbanks, KCBD News, Channel 11. The Office of Rural Health will collect data every month and then at the end of the pilot period, the state will determine if the project will continue to get funding.